Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. In this video, I'm going to show you seven PvP base locations and rat holes in the water biome. Now, of course, some of them may get patched out, and I do also have some bonus base locations to show you in this exact same area. But this video is aimed at PvP players and PvP bases, and of course, I will not show anything that has to do with meshing, because of course that will most certainly get repaired and patched out. Here we are with the first location, and of course, as you can see, it is on a little scoop off of one of the cliffs. Of course, this will be for a small tribe, so I will show you the map location now, and then we'll go to the GPS coordinate. And bear in mind that I've not actually spent a lot of time trying to optimize anything in terms of how I place my structures down. I just want to show you that you can build here. So I have put a 4x4 set of foundations. You can actually go further down on this little, uh, I don't even know, scoop, whatever you want to call it. So you can build a okay sized base. Now from the water, it will be difficult to spot of course this biome itself is fairly large in size and it also has the challenge of basically having to swim through it as well so finding this kind of base is going to be in itself a bit more challenging and of course raiding it is going to be challenging because of the water element not far from it is one of the first bonus locations and uh, this is a rat hole um, that is probably at some point going to get patched but I will show you that location that you want to go up so up this way we keep going up and keep going up and keep going up and when we look down we will see this little platform right here this I have a feeling will get patched out but for the time being it's not and you can build a little uh fob here or a little base a little uh place to call home really and you can see it's going to be fairly tall so narrow but tall is what this base will offer and when we look from down here going to be difficult to tell that there is a base up there and of course with one or two turrets you can defend it quite well again this is what the environment around it looks like and you will be completely out of sight as well so i will show you the map and gps coordinates as well because of course why not so this is where i am on the map and here we are with the gps coordinates and of course being in the water biome is going to help quite a great deal because a lot of people don't like the water due to the dangers in it and of course building around here is going to be a bit of a challenge in terms of building a fob here we are with another base location this would be for a medium to maybe large tribe and as you can see there is a fairly straight patch of land here that we can build of course it will require some defending and it isn't all that well hidden it is still hidden if you think about it because of course the water biome is fairly large uh, but it is also quite defendable as well so they can't come from the top they can't air attack you very well because of the water element but this whole area right here you can build on and you can build on top there as well so it's really well defendable and you can build a decent sized base as well you can have dinos and all sorts of things here uh, in terms of placing the metal cliff platforms that can be a bit of a challenge but if you are on a pve server and say you want to extend this you can do that by placing a platform right here for example so that is it for this location right here we have the map location and of course i'm going to show you the gps coordinate again there we go and with that said and done, we're going to move on to the next location in a bit. I am going to kind of leave the map and GPS out a bit longer just so people can take down notes. So here we are with another hidden base location. This one is one for a small tribe. But what makes it so nice is the fact that you are 
in itself, kind of tucked away in a corner. There are many of these little uh, areas similar to this, basically, in the water biome. The only difference between those and this one is where it is placed. It is kind of in a bit of a tucked away corner, so you can build a base. And if you are going to get raided, it is going to present a bit of a challenge for whoever's going to try and raid you because of the water element as well as the fact that they can't really drop bland dinos on you and stuff like that they can't really soak up bullets that well so of course if anybody wants to raid you and have the resources they will most likely win but i'm just showing you this location for the sake of you know this is a good spot to build for those that are on pvp servers and just want to stay hidden and uh kind of well defended let's put it this way so i played around with the foundation i'm going to show you the map and gps coordinates right now and similar to what you saw in the previous base location you can of course place down a metal cliff platform if you choose to do so and if you are on a pve server but that would be a bit more difficult to defend but if you do want to extend that is an option So not far from that location is this little crack right here. You can always have another hidden base here if you want. Again, I kept the map and GPS coordinates out so you guys can see. It's very similar to that, just a bit more, uh, more smaller. You have a bit more space to work with there, but this one's even better tucked away. And I'm going to show you that it can place down metal structures. So if I was to take this location, I'd try and cover both of them. With the metal platforms here, though, it is a bit more challenging to do so, but you can still place it down. You have to kind of fiddle around to make sure that uh, it has all the requirements to attach to the cliff. So again, still usable for PvP and, of course, for PvE as well. If you do want to get yourself a nice little... Uh, patch of air in the water biome if you want to call it that i think that kind of makes sense but you can build a decent base here if you place down a metal cliff platform okay so that's that for this location let's go on to the next one actually i want to show you something before i do move on so we're going to place down some structures here uh, i'm just going to do it random uh, with no specific order just to kind of show you what you will be having to deal with if you do want to build in this area. So I placed down three foundations. I'm going to put down some ceilings. Now, first problem we encounter is this little message that will not allow us to build. So, of course, the base is going to be quite tiny. But then the other thing is that I want to show you is that it's quite difficult to spot from the water, which is where most people will be. Most people will most likely uh, pass it by without noticing it there. Yeah, we are with another base location. This is quite a cool one. It is decent in size. The surface here is really flat. And I'd start building from the deep end and go towards the outer end. And this would be a base location for a medium to large tribe. You can have dinos here and all sorts of things. And you can actually build quite tall as well. I'm just going to show you all the areas that you can place down a foundation. And then I'll show you the GPS coordinates as well. There are quite a few of these areas that I come across and I will show them off. Uh, of course, at this end, you can place down a metal cliff platform if you are on a PVE server and you want to build here. I mean, it's definitely quite nice and definitely worth looking at building here. I kind of like it, to be honest. But of course, I feel like the metal platform will be probably not advisable for a PvP server unless you have a strong tribe and are willing or have the power to defend it. But you can build outwards as well for PvE servers, so I want to show that off. Hold on a second. And it can be a bit finicky. There we go. And we have a good space to work with. Yeah, we are with another base location, so I'm going to show you the surrounding area. 
and this is what we have again a flat surface to work with you can actually go deep in here as well so I'd start building from this end and then going towards the other end but even better than before this right here we can actually close off and build a good decent defense you can probably use behemoth gateways and stuff to block it all off and the reason I like this one better than the one before is of course the fact that the surrounding cliffs kind of put it in its own little bubble so realistically the only way that you can be raided is from within the water uh, putting up platforms around this area to create a fob is going to be in itself a challenge and even if they do manage to put a cliff platform up you can always snipe so you've got a good clear line of sight of whoever's coming to snoop around and so that makes it quite highly defendable especially seeing as they have to come out of the water so i'll show you the map location and gps coordinates so here we are with the gps coordinates and here is my position on the map as well Yeah, we are with another one so that's where we were before and this one right here is actually bigger than before so let me just show you exactly what happened this was the location i showed you in the previous section that i said was quite defendable and right underneath this right here we find another little platform that we can build on it's a natural platform and again it's quite defendable because I have to come through the war. This one's slightly bigger and it does come out this way as well. So, of course, it is in a bit of a more open area. So, map, location, and GPS coordinates for this, as you can see. Uh, I would probably look at trying to take over both of these just to be on the safe side. Um, you don't really want any neighbors, especially on a PvP server where the neighbor may potentially raid you at some point in the future. So definitely worth picking both of these up. And I think the previous one is a bit more defendable as well. So here we are with the coordinates and map location. And here we are with the final base location. I'm just going to show you right there. There's a foundation that I tucked away so you can have some turrets hidden there over here we can hide some foundations and build a maybe a two wide base it is still going to be a hidden base as well um it's going to be for a smaller tribe if you want to stay hidden but you can also extend later on depending on how confident you are with regards to defending it of course most of the attacks will be coming from the water anyways so you have to keep that in mind especially if your opponent does have say for example a megalodon with a tech saddle on they'll be able to fire at you and your turrets won't really help you that much but it is still a temporary hidden base and of course you can attach a metal cliff platform if you want to extend um, although this would make you a bit more visible to be fairly honest but that option is there if you do want it and as you can see there's plenty of head height let's call it that and once again in that corner right there you can stash some stuff but it is a bit of a open area to be honest I think the only challenge here will be the water element and the fact that not many people like to go in the water here we are with the map location i will bring up the gps in a bit and trying to find a good spot so i can show you the map and here we are with the coordinates and that is pretty much it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative if you have please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when i upload new videos and content to the channel also for those interested you can always find me on the sethtopia discord links this of course you can find down below in the video's description and until next time stay safe folks